All right, histone deacetylases act cooperatively with histone methyltransferases to facilitate which physiological process in the nervous system? Now, of course, the passage is about inhibitors and HDACs and histones, but we can actually answer this without even looking at the passage. So we're asked here about the role of the deacetylase and the methyltransferase. Now, of course, our choices are cell division, gene expression, cell maturation, and footprinting. But notice this is foundational concept one, so we're really expected to know this before we take the exam. Just to remind you, when we speak of acetylation and deacetylation of histones, think about where the histones are located. Histones are found inside the nucleus where they're involved with the DNA. So that already gives us a clue. What we mean by acetylation is, here's an, an example, for instance, lysine, the amino acid. It has been acetylated in the forward reaction, so an acetyl group has been attached. Deacetylation means we remove the same um, acetyl group, so now it's gone. So that's the process. Also in the passage we're told that histones are closely associated with DNA molecules and they're found inside the nucleus, this is a lot of information, where they stabilize chromatin, DNA, and subsequently play important roles in the regulation of gene expression. There's our answer. So even though the passage doesn't give us any information about the methyltransferases, we're told exactly what deacetylases do. And the question informs us that the methyltransferase works with the deacetylase, these words, to accomplish the function. And in this case, that function is choice B, which is gene expression.